Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn three different activities which are related to the PDF automation. They are one, manage PDF password, join PDF files, another one, get PDF page count. These are all very small activities so that I'm going to club all these three activities in the same session. First of all, we'll see how to manage password for the PDF. For that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a sequence by clicking on add sequence. I'm going to give it as PDF activities. And then I'm going to create the sequence. Now, as the first thing that I'm going to work with the manage PDF password. Let me drag and drop onto the panel. What is the purpose of this manage PDF password? If you don't have any password protected to the PDF, by using this manage PDF, you can go ahead, you can manage the password for that one. In a such a way, let's assume I'm having some kind of uh, PIA, from personal information related or some kind of sensitive information data, if I'm having in the PDF, I want to protect that information by using password, correct? So that what will happen, there are two types of things. One is user password, another one is owner password. Owner password is nothing but who are going to be making some modifications to the PDF and the user password is nothing but who are going to read that PDF, that password we are going to do it. Now, if you see, I'm having some PDF on my screen, but it is not password protected. If you see, I'm having images.text.pdf is a sample which I'm having, but it is not password protected. Okay, now what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to put some passwords. How can I go ahead and do that? So first of all, I'm going for the file name. Let me browse for the file name and I'm going to the PDF docs and you can see images.txt. Let's assume this is the sensitive PDF, which I don't have any username, any password for this PDF. Let me select that and then click on open. Let's assume if you have the passwords also, over here you can mention the old passwords also. Okay, now I'm going to give the uh, new owner password and the user password also. I'm just giving a simple over here, like one, two, three, four, five, six in the double quotes okay if you don't give it it won't be considered please give in double quotes okay and then this is the new owner password now for the user in the sense who are going to be reading that i'm just giving 654321 in the reverse format if for the already password already for the pdf if you're having any owner password and the user password you can go ahead and you can give it okay now by using old owner password and old user password under the properties. Now once the file name has been given, the new owner password and the user password has been given, right? Now where I want to store that in the output file. Now let me select this browse file. If you don't know, if you have the path, you can directly go ahead and you can give it. If you don't know, just browse for the files and then I'm going to give it in the output. And then I'm going to save it as password protected okay just simple example i'm not going to give any name dot pdf and let me save it and you can see in the output uh, that the file will create after managing these things okay now what i'm going to do now just i'm going to give ma a message box over here that process has been completed now i have already drag and drop now i'm saying process completed now let me run the bot now the process has now the bot has been executed successfully let me click on okay let me go to my project now let me refresh under output that you will find password protected now let me try to open it when i try to open it if you see it is asking for the password to open the document as a user i'm going to give it my password 654321 let me click on okay now, if you see, the document has been opened. Okay, in a such a way, if you want to, uh, you know, give the passwords to the sensitive information PDF, then you can go ahead and you can create a password and by using old passwords as well as the new passwords by using manage pass PDF password activity. I hope you understand how to use manage PDF password activity.
Now, as a second activity, now let me go to another activity that is get PDF page count. Okay, now I'm just going to remove this manage PDF password. Now I'm going to work get PDF page count. Now let us assume I want to know how many pages are there in the particular PDF. If you see, I'm having 15 pages PDF this is. Now, if, whenever I'm going to give the range, I want to know how many pages are there in the particular PDF, which I'm going to read it, right? At that time, how could I know that I can't go manually and then check it out how many pages are there, correct? Now, how can I go ahead and do that? By using get PDF page count. Now, let me browse for the file and I'm going to the PDF documents. I'm just giving images.txt file. Now, if you see the properties over here, one is the file name. If it's a password, I have to give the password to open this PDF. And then the page count, I'm going to store in the variable for variable. That is control K. And I'm going to give it as get page count. And let me click on enter. If you see the variables, I'm having the variable with the name of get page count and the variable type is integer because of the page count will come it as one, two, three like that, right? So that, that I'm going to get the variable in the type of integer format. Now, once you have read the uh, number of pages, now I'm going to display how many pages we are having. I'll simply say number of pages concatenating with get page count dot two string because of the get page count is in integer format. Now let me go ahead, let me save the bot and now let me run the bot. Now if you see the output, number of pages is 15 for the particular PDF, that is correct. Now that is how we are going to get the data of the page count by using get PDF count. Now let me click on OK. I hope you understand how to use get PDF count activity. Now I will use another activity that is join PDF files. Now let me drag and drop join PDF files. The purpose of this join PDF files activity is that I want to club two PDFs. Let's assume I'm going to the project and I will open the PDF docs. If you see over here, I'm having a lot of PDFs, right? Now my scenario is that I want to add, I want to club or I want to join these PDFs as a single PDF. Let's assume I'm having image text file and as well as the interview one dot PDF. How can I club, how can I join these two PDFs and then I will show it as a single PDF. That is the main agenda of this join PDF files activity. Now, if you see over here, I'm having the file list of the properties. I will give all the list of the files over here and then I'm going to store the join PDF in the output file name that what is the file name that we are going to give it. The same names over here. How can I go ahead and do that? In the format of flower brackets, I'm just going to give in the double quotes, I'm going to give the names over here, if you see. And then I'm going to give comma separated and then I'm going to give some other name over here, right? What is the another file that we have? One is one dot interview skills, right? Let me take that one directly over here by typing one dot interview hyphen skills dot PDF. If you observe, I'm going to club these two files that is image, uh, images and text PDF, another one interview skills dot PDF in, the, in this file list, okay? Let me click on okay. Now I'm going to store that output file where I can store. Now let me browse that file or else I'll just give it directly over here with the path that is output. Output is the folder. If you see over here, I'm having the output folder slash. What is the name? I will just give join PDF, join PDF dot PDF file. Okay, now let me go ahead, let me click on OK. Now if you see, anyhow that get PDF, don't worry about this. I'm going to join these two PDFs and I'm going to make it as a single PDF by using join PDF files activity. Now let me save the bot. I have added one more one message box over here saying that process has been completed. Now let me save and let me run the bot. 
Now, if you see the process has been executed successfully. Now, click. Let me click on OK. Now, let me refresh the output because of we'll get this joint PDF in the output folder, right? Now, let me expand. You can see the joint PDF over here. Now, let me open this by clicking on Open. Now, you can see. Previously, we had 15 pages. Now it is 19 pages. The reason is that you can find at the end of the page around 15, right? 16, you can see it has been joined after 15. The four pages have been joined in a single PDF that is joined PDF, right? This is how we are going to join two PDFs or multiple PDF files as a single PDF by using join PDF file activity. I hope in this session you understand how to use join PDF files activity, get PDF page count activity as well as manage PDF file password activity also. Thank you for watching your tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.